Hey, Sparkle Stormer, Andre wants to learn, it's me, Sparkle and Zoether. Can we shoot a video for you? I am doing more mythical creatures as superheroes. And I am sorry about the dogs barking. I just, my family just got in two new dogs and they do bark quite a bit. But other than that, let's roll intro, let's get into this video, and let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Hello everyone, it's me. Uh, my name is Enrollant, and I am coming at you with more cre more creature heroes today. I am going over more of them, although two of them are horse related, and two of them are somewhat equal related. The first one is the hero name known as Winged Horse or the creature is a Pegasus. The reason why he goes by the hero name, well, she, the person's gender fluid to be more honest. The reason why they go by that is because they don't really have the appearance of a um, full-on horse. They just got the wings and the hooves on their feet, along with some fur around their legs. But other than that, they don't really got anything else except for the strength of a Pegasus. Now, most of their attacks deal with flying around in the air and trampling their opponents by falling down. But they can always do a dash attack and use their wings as a parachute to help them it to help them stop a lot faster. And for them, making tight turns in the air, it's a lot easier for others. And they also have the secondary ability to condense air down into a little sphere or platform they can choose and step up like stairs. It's an ability they rarely use because they say it takes a lot out of them. But the area I have been looking into it always wreaks of magic a little bit after the, it dissipates. By wreaking of magic, I mean it's like very little levels, but for someone that has a power, that has powers, it's going to be quite noticeable and going to help them too. Increase their strength for quite some time, or even permanently, depending on the levels of magic that were they were exposed to. Now they can also use these as projectiles. That's the most infamous attack they use. Their winged air bullets. What they do is they kill. They basically just flap their wings a lot, and they sh condense the air down farther away. To bullets. And using the more gusts of wind they could generate and create more bullets, they pretty much create a machine gun like effect. And but they only do is like one or three times. Depending on the opponent. The opponent usually goes down after three. Rarely have I ever seen them go up to six or seven. Uh, when it comes to that, the machines, if they you if they're weaponry, is like mechs. The mechs have always been turned to well, Swiss cheese with barely any robotic bits left remaining. Now, their hero costume doesn't really help a whole lot. It gives them basic defense and armor, but other than that, that's all I got on the hero for today. Let's move on to the next one. The second hero is a hero that goes by the name of. What was it? it goes by the name of Griff. Their creature is a griffin, like you can suspect. They also have a sibling that I'm going to be going over in this list as well. Although they, they the the sibling is a lot weaker. The um, griff is more likely. Well, griff has the appearance of a griffin, more or less in his head. The uh, the mask that is. It has a beak like um shape to it on it's like a triangle that goes above his mouth you can still see it his mouth and below but his mask um ends at his hair like most superheroes do but he most he barely ever talks when he does talk he always there's always a loud screech at the end of it which he can use to disorient people he's also known to quite a um a war 
order pretty much every single opponent he defeats he always takes something from them and keeps it for himself you might be thinking this is greedy but he actually keeps this just in case they break out of prison man their muscle is always shiny as well and according to this griffins of legend they're known they're always placed around great vast amounts of treasure because they would usually be able to guard the said treasure pretty much indefinitely and they will always keep their eye on it as long as they are given a some of it after their contract is up now that would make sense but for him he's actually saying enough from what he's actually told us this he's actually a um, lawyer that does um, deal with insurance scams or monitor laundry really easily now his other abilities include the air bullets like I said before but they're not as strong as um, winged horses still very strong but not as strong but he's also a very he's also a faster flyer and the claw talents he has up for hands surely makes up for that fact but not to mention he's also a little skinnier than the average person but he's still pretty well built his muscles are more condensed than others that would make sense why he's able to fly so well and him and his sibling who's a female don't both share the trait of having feathered wings like all three of them do by all three i'm referring to winged horse griff and hit their increases sibling so let's move on to the next one The next one I'm going to be going over is the hero that most people know as Magical Horn, and you can take a guess of what her creature is. It's a unicorn, and she's always been obsessed with unicorns, funny enough. She has the appearance of a 12-year-old, and also the mentality of one, but somewhat mature in some aspects, but she's actually around 22 years old. She said that the um, magic she gotten from the unicorn gives her longevity and it pretty much makes her semi-immortal. She can be killed, but the magic she produces herself, mind you, that's a very rare trait for some magical people to have, is quite potent and it heals her really quickly. Also, that explains why she would has longevity, but... The um, noticeable thing about her is the horn she has on her head. It is not very, it's quite noticeable. It goes up around a six inches or so. It's actually a very sensitive spot, but the only way to get to it is by touching it physically. So if you were to shoot at it or use some type of attack on it, a force will generate around it and herself to keep it from being injured. The I've studied this effect and it's actually a quite common thing for magical parts to have. Like the one I mentioned last time, the hero that was known as, um, Biter, which I forgot I mentioned his name, it was the Ushioni guy. <clears throat> his spikes on his legs always had the ability to generate a little thin force field around himself. Now, the magical potency that leaves behind them from these abilities are actually very, very low. More low than others. But I've been hearing people say that there is actually an area that leads to a world that was full of magic that has been leaking into our world and giving these people powers. I personally cannot find this location. People say that you need to have an open mind. But my mind has opened a whole lot already. I I already know about the different creatures. I know about the other universes. But just what else is out there? It just feels like something evil is coming. But anyways. Um, Magical Horn. Her major ability is to the ability to summon well, horns around her. Which she can be used like a machine gun. But she also has the ability to form create a horn and then have a sword fly out beside it 
and well, a horn and then a sword formed from energy around it. Now let's move on to the last one today. The final hero of today I'm going to be going over is someone who gets confused for their sibling a whole lot. They're, they are the sibling I'm talking about. I was to mention earlier, Griffin. Griff's sibling. Griff's sibling is known as, her hero name is Poeth. And Poeth is actually sometimes confused for sharing a hippogriff. Um, well, being a, well, sharing the creature of a griffin with her brother. When in reality, her brother is around a year older than her, and her creature is a hippogriff, and his is a griffin. As for the difference between a hippogriff and a griffin, is according to this document I found, and I have written it myself due to the kind of conflicting evidence I have found. I managed to sum this up. It's not really conflicting, but more or less just really long. So here's the summary of it. Griffin. A griffin is a mix between a lion, eagle, and a horse. Scratch that. I just realized I made a mistake while typing this document. They're actually a combination of a eagle and a lion. They are a lot stronger than a hippogriff in the fact that a hippogriff is part horse and eagle. They have the back legs of a horse. Now, like I stated earlier, Hippogriff is, well, Poev is actually a poet, funny enough. It's her cover job. We just know their cover jobs, name, hero names, and what creature they are, and a few pieces of information they have told us. As for her other information I found on her, Hippogriffs would actually be eaten by griffins, but... The first, funny enough, these, the griffin and, like I was saying, they get along really well. And, like I was saying, they get along really well, and they're actually known to fight one, fight with one another quite often. Now, for her abilities, she has the same abilities as Pegasus and, well, Pegasus is winged horse, and, sorry, I keep forgetting to mention their hero name and not their creature sometimes. Winged Horse and Griff share the same abilities, so with um, with Poeth. Poeth, although is a whole lot weaker than the others, she but she what she does make up for is in speed and agility. Do being part horse, she is a very fast runner, and whereas a lion is pretty fast, still they can be she can be. Well, Griff can be outmatched by Poet easily because she can also change it to be part zebra and, and eagle. So, pretty fast combination on that end. But her agility is actually greater than her brother's. So, that's pretty much everything. But she also has the ability to condense air down in little steps and, funny enough, actual um, swords, which her brother cannot do. So, yeah, now that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video because I'm afraid that's all I'm working out for today. Until next time, subscribe to Adrian's Sparks Army or Demos Alliance. Goodbye and peace out, everyone.